Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at an app called uh, Checkoff for Android. Um, I'm looking for, I've been looking for a couple of years actually really for a reusable checklist app without actually having that much success. What I'm looking for is a checklist app that can be reused. So if you're doing stuff like leaving the house or you know something uh, driving or getting into your car that you have a little checklist. So this app is kind of for uh, people uh, just like me who uh, tend to uh, be a bit ditzy. In fact, someone yesterday said that I am a disorganized mess. Can you believe it? Someone, it was not my wife, it was another individual. Uh, this person, if she ever watched this video, knows who she is. So I took it to heart and I have been having a, uh, a disorganized spree recently, I think because I've been under quite a lot of uh, stress and uh, pressure. So I've been looking into various things. I have a tile on my wallet. I'm upgrading to another tile soon. And um, I thought a checklist app would be great. Anyone who has shares my interest in aviation uh, probably knows that the aviation industry, and I did a few flight lessons back in the day, both at the private level and at the commercial level, um, are obsessed. Obsessed is probably the wrong word. They have to. It's a safety thing. Their checklists are part of the uh, flying process from engine start through to engine shutdown. So I think it's a good example to follow. So. I didn't really have that much success. What I'm looking for is a, a checklist app that has a cloud, a, a, for example, a web UI and an Android client. What I found instead was a not so wonderful cloud-based product. It's called uh, Firesub. I'll put a link in the description, although I don't think it's brilliant. Uh, that doesn't have a mobile UI or, or a Android app. And then the one that I found that ha is a mobile app doesn't have a web client. So I wanted the web client so that I can do my checklist and create them from my computer and then use them on my phone. So I didn't find exactly what I was looking for. Both have their flaws. Um, the good thing about the check off app is that it does, it will sync back and forth to Google. So you'll at least be able to back up and restore even if it doesn't have that uh, interface. So here it is. Let me show you firstly how to find it in the Google Play Store. Uh, I'm just gonna grab my Android here through my computer done uh, so go into google play store it's uh, it's right there you don't have to search for it um, i just typed in reusable checklist and i went for this one by dave o'brien uh, they are currently running a beta program so i'm going to join that after making this video but this is the first one i came across that had reusable checklist in its title so this is my checklist i've just built here and i'll just show you how to build one in fact why don't we just start this from scratch so i'll just show you guys real quick how this works. It comes pre-populated pre with a groceries checklist like apples, bananas, whatever. Uh, but uh, you can you can build your own ones, of course. I don't think there's any limits as to how many you can install. Let me show you guys what settings there are. There's a dark mode. There is a sound you can toggle on and off when you finish your, your list. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's kind of a bit, little bit too minimalist for my liking, but sometimes simplicity is good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new list if I can figure out how to do so. So when I use a new app, I like stuff to be intuitive. So if this is not going to be intuitive, here we go. So you can back up or restore from the cloud. Uh, there's a little tip thing here that gives you a little tour. Uh, but again, it looks to me pretty, um, a little bit on the basic side, but uh, it is what it is. So here's how you create a list. You click on create new list. I couldn't get rid of this grocery one. So I'm gonna call this, what did I call that? Leaving the house, leaving the house. And it comes pre-populated with a bunch of icons. So I guess when I'm leaving the house, I'm gonna go for car because I'm leaving into my car or walking, but car is kind of good enough. I don't need quantities. It's not a shopping list. Um, show note icons in list. Uh, no, um, when they're done, I want to cross them off instead of hide them. And then you just build, build out your little checklist. So I'm gonna go for, you can also paste, paste text as new items. So you can have, I guess, a notepad with your checklist or just pop them in one by one. I'm gonna go for the pop in one by one option here. So let's go for um, when I'm leaving the house, I need to make sure that I uh, have my wallet. And then you can nest these into groups as well. So I'm gonna call this, um, I don't know, essentials maybe. Yeah, let's go with essentials first because wallet would definitely be in that category. And you can pick a color scheme for the group. Um, 
and I'm gonna say yes. So I have my wallet. And then there's another one here that you can, you can either just add one or you can create your next to-do item. So add new item. And if you click on, let's say, uh, what else, have keys, pop that into essentials too. And this time, if I click on this icon for tick, plus that little arrow up there, I'm gonna be able to uh, jump straight to the next, next screen. So I have my, let me just think about this, have my keys, have my wallet, uh, have my phone. So you kind of pick up a rhythm and that's why I also using it for the computer. Why I wanted to, I'm actually using it through um, an Android emulator here. Uh, what else do I need to do? I have my wallet, uh, have phone charger or power bank. I'm gonna just try to keep this one pretty simple so this video doesn't run super long. So the next one I'm gonna do is sometimes I want my ah, a medication, uh, have medication with me. I take uh, two medications a day and click on accept or add. Next thing I wanna do, so I'm gonna create another category of video, uh, have video bag if applicable, because sometimes I'm going out to shoot stuff. So I'm gonna call this, um, may as well make a video group. I'm gonna call this group, create a new group, call it video, click on video, click on okay. It's got its own color, click on save and click on save. All right, now I have a six item checklist for leaving the house. I have my keys, I have my medication, I have my phone, I have my wallet, phone charger. I can't think of what else is really essential for survival. This is probably how disorganized I am as I'm forgetting stuff as I'm trying to make this list. But let's say this is fine for the moment. So you can see up the top here, you have an edit button and you have a use button. So I can flip out of edit mode and into use mode. And now I've got my little checklist with its two uh, items there. And now this is what I haven't figured out yet. So let's say I'm going through this, right? I'm, I have my phone in my hand physically and I say, okay, great. I have my keys, I have my medication, I have my phone, my wallet. I'm going through my pockets and going through blah, blah, blah. Uh, that should be video pack, but we'll leave it go. It says, all done, excellent. So, my question is, how do I use this again, right? So let's just go back to the home screen. Leaving the house is showing as all done. And I can delete the grocery list now because I, it won't allow me to delete. I've only one thing. So now I've got my leaving the house. Everything's ticked off. And I'm guessing it's this magic button. Really hide the completed items. Okay, six crossed out items hidden. So this is where I say anytime Anytime there's any doubt about um, how to use an app, I think the design's a little bit bad. Like my question now is, okay, great. So I went through my checklist. Now I want to reuse my checklist. This is the whole point of this. What do I do? And I think I need to untick, mark all items as unneeded. No, mark, sorry, other way around. Mark all as needed. And now I'm back to my fresh checklist. Uh, so that I guess is how, I, I can't see how else you're supposed to use this thing. It just seems a bit intuitive that there isn't a button that says like reuse checklist because that to me would be way more obvious than going through this menu and clicking, but um, it does the job, I guess. You can duplicate the list, uh, share it as a text, and unless I'm missing something in the, um, some way that this is intended to, f to work, let me go through the whole uh, tour, adding an item we figured out, marking need items we figured out, quantities we figured out, grouping we figured out, using a list, show using a list, tick, tick them off, untick, you can untick it. Once you create a list, you can reuse it over and over. For example, you might go to the grocery store, tick everything off your list, but later you can go back to the edit screen to mark items as needed again. Um, so I guess, that was the way you're supposed to use it. So that's my would be my feedback for the developer is you need to make this like more uh, um, more obvious because yeah. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's the um, check off app there for uh, for Android. And as he said, in the cloud there is the Fire Sub app, but uh, I haven't found one that syncs up on both ends. If you do know of such an app, uh, please do uh, drop me a a line. And thank you guys for watching the video.